Hey everybody, welcome back. This trade that we have right here on the screen in front of us, it's 2.5 pips away from completion. It looks like it's gonna close and all of my bad trades along with it might go with it. Yeah, we're, we're right on the, we're right on it. You can see here, we're so close. We're two pips away from that trade being closed and me getting out of that trouble. So 1.7 pips away right there. You can see I made $160 on one, $99 on the other. Let's call it 270 with a loss of 270 over there. So what I wanna do now is potentially just close it. <laughs> so this is, I, I took a trade based on all the things that we talked about. It's working out, not all of them do. It could have gone the other way and I would have to do a video about closing it at a loss. But now I have a different problem, which is I'm so close to my profit target. So close to this situation that was pretty bad a few minutes ago. And I'm so close to this being over and done with. And this is what happens to me and to so many other traders in this situation. What we'll do is we'll sit here and watch what is a heavily corrected and much improved situation and we will just watch it deteriorate. Meaning, you know what my best option is right now? My best option is to be as purposeful and determined to close this winner and take a $9 loss as impulsive as I was to get into the third trade that I took anyway. That I, that at this point now, Let's say, for example, I was sliding off a roof and I was falling down off of a roof. And on the way down the roof, I was praying that, that God would save me and that everything would be okay. And then right as I fell off the side of the roof, uh, my shirt hits a nail and I'm hanging from the side of the roof and I can grip on real quickly. And I say, oh, it's no big deal. God, I got it. Like everything, everything worked out. Don't worry about it. When in reality, it's like an answer to my prayers. Well, in this situation, being 0.5 pips away from a resolution on this means that I should just close everything. That's what I should be doing. So 1.3 pips away, 1.1, one pip away. So what my choice is, should be, is, is closing this. And maybe I lost $9 total on those three trades. Let's see what I lost. I closed them. Well, let's see what I lost. I made, um, we'll go down the list here and I'll make it so that it's really easy to see on the screen. So I made 166, then 109, I'll just call it 110. So that's $276 on the win and I lost $276.92. I made $276 on the wins, and I lost $276.92 on the loss. I'm not great at math, but that appears to be pretty close. <laughs> and what it required me to do was give up on this close to the profit target. And have you ever heard me say this before? Please say yes. Close your winning trades. Someone wrote me the other day and they said, okay, I'll close my winning trades, also close my profitable business. Okay, jerk, that's not what I meant. What I meant is, when things are going well, take your profits. When a customer calls you up in your business and says, I'll give you 99% of what you asked for for your product, take the deal, make the money. The fastest way to become a successful trader is to close your winning trades. And this is one of those examples or situations where I was tempted to not take my profit. Like literally because it was 0.5 pips away from the target. And I could sit there with my arms crossed and a stern look on my face and get, and get defiant and say, nope, that's my profit target. And if I don't let it hit my profit target, then I'm not letting my profits run. And I'm breaking the first rule that I read in a forum by lives in mama's basement 52, who argues with people all the time about risk to reward ratios. Well, I'm here and I'm showing you that maybe I lost out here, maybe I lost a couple bucks, but I got close, look at that, I did, I lost a couple bucks, could have gone farther. So what? <laughs> 
the, the whole point of the way that I trade the robots and everything else is when things are going well, I grab the money. I call it the smash and grab method of trading. I think I just took another, let's just close some of this stuff out. $53 on that trade. Let's just close some more stuff. Look at that. The Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar is a loss. Maybe I'll just close that out and they'll balance out. Sure. Now I'm reducing the number of trades in my account and I'm letting everything have a fresh start. Have you ever carried around with you a burden? Psychological, physical, whatever. And then you let go of that burden and then your life opens up and opportunity opens up again to you. You don't sit around after recovering from an illness, regretting that you, like all your, you're just happy that you recovered from the illness. You don't regret stuff. And so I see lots of regret from profitable traders. They say, oh, well, you didn't let it run all the way. And if you just let it go a little bit longer, it could always go both ways. I could have let that trade stay open a little bit longer and it could have become a horrendous loss. And you've been there and I've been there. So the message is clear. The message is consistent. It's never going to change. Close your winning trades. Is it close to the profit target? Take it. Take it. Grab it and go. If you're not around, let the robot or the profit target, let it kick in on its own. But otherwise, be the Steve Miller Band method of trading. Take the money and run. So today, all told, by closing out some trades that weren't working, I gave back $191 of my profit this week by closing losing trades, taking a loss. And I'm still left with $700 this week. $700 a week is $2,800 a month, which is... I can't remember how much that math is, but $36,000 a year. Even if I didn't do any better than that this week, that'd be a $36,000 a year job. And all I had to do was close my winning trades. So there's a lot more where that came from by implementing those principles and doing those kinds of things. Thanks for watching. I know that this is a topic that is, uh, that touches on some sensitive things for people and there's, it's controversial for some. So if you disagree with me, I'll respect your opinion. If you want to leave a comment below, I won't argue with you. I won't call you out. I won't call you names. I'll respect your opinion. And I just, I, I wouldn't mind it if you just told me what you think. And we can have a reasoned, well thought out, unemotional debate about it. Even though I called you a jerk earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. So if you want to leave a comment below, agreeing or disagreeing with the principles I talked about in this video, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. I hope this content is hitting home and um, making a, a positive difference in your life. I'm Rob Booker. I'll talk to you later.